Hello everyone. So in this video tutorial, I'd like to show you guys how to design an ECG amplifier system. So an ECG signal is uh, depicted here. Uh, just uh, you have a P and then QRS complex and T wave and then sometimes a U trace. So I would de design a system where you can select uh, the different leads using a mic controller and the Arduino to select uh, s set the relay to change the uh, different uh, leads and then I'll be using the right leg as a reference node and we'll need to build an isolate, isolated uh, power supply also for the patient side to for safety reasons so I'll be designing the uh, system using uh, multisim so let's first look at the uh, the complete design first, and I'll go over the the step by step uh, in in the later videos. But here is the power supply. So what you want to do when you start with something is you need to know how much power, how much uh, current you need. And in this case, uh, f for my uh, one one for one one of my power supply, I'll be needing a dual supply with an output, uh, two outputs, plus 15 volts and uh, minus 15 volts, and it will be uh, rated at 500 milliamps. So you, you first you model your circuit using uh, you know uh, plug up the out of the wall circuit. So this is 120 volts and then 60 hertz coming out of the wall, and then you want to use a good transformer, but rel rel relatively cheap. Uh, transformer, uh, isolate transformer, such as the split bobbin transformer. This is around six to ten dollars. And then this is well, what it actually does is that it will reduce the uh, six hertz capacitive coupling to your secondary coil because uh, it's uh, the way it's w wound it. And then uh, here I include uh, actually three fuse. Uh, Three fuses. On the primary is a 500 milliamp uh, fuse, and on the secondary is two 750 milliamp fuse. And then it goes. This is a center tap design, by the way. So uh, it goes into this rectifier. Uh, these are four using four diodes. And then you have your uh, your filters. Your your your. This is the low pass filter. Basically, you're trying to smooth out the, the ripple, lower the ripple peak-to-peak uh, -peak voltage. And there's an, actually an equation that you use to determine how, how your size of your capacitor and uh, is related to how much uh, ripple voltage are you willing to tolerate. And then uh, it goes into this uh, the, the voltage regulator for uh, LM7815 that will give you output of uh, 15 volts. And on the other side, you have LM7915CT, or will give you a negative 15 volts, uh, as recommended by the data sheet. Um, they recommended that you should use a uh, capacitor on the uh, output to stabilize the the uh, regulation, the line regulation at the output. I also included uh, a, another regulator, 7805, for my Darwino, the 5 volts. And for my patient size of the amplifier, I uh, use an isolated power supply using a battery, two 9 volts battery. And then you use the, the connectum series, and then the middle part be your reference point for your amplifier. So, now let's go ahead and look at the. So. That is the power supply. Now we need to okay. look at the instrumentation uh, amplifier uh, design. Uh, with anything, uh, when you're dealing with a uh, differential signal input, you need to first have an, an uh, instrumentation amplifier to, to reject your common mode signal. So here I have uh, four total uh, leads. Uh, 
uh, connect to your left leg, left arm, right arm, and right leg. The right leg is my reference to uh, for my amplifier. And then I have these uh, two two uh, relays, and then this control by my controller will switch to different leads, so I can choose which lead is programmed to the my controller. And then I have this uh, this tra transient uh, voltage spike protection for my amplifier. It basically protects the rest of the, of the uh, circuit here. So when the voltage spike above the four voltage of this dial, which is around. Uh, 0.7 volts, then all the, all the voltage will create a current that will be sorted to this line and go to the ground. So my circuit will be protected. Alright, so for this uh, particular case, I use an, uh, an instrument and fire uh, AD8429 BRZ, and then you set out the, the gain. The gain resistor. That's all you have to do, really set out the gain. That we do gain of ten, ten. So I used the uh, positive nine and minus nine volts uh, for my uh, power supply for this uh, amplifier. And then now, uh, next thing you need to do is you need to re reject all the uh, DC component. So you have a uh, low pass circuit here. Well, so what it does is that. It's actually this is a high pass. I'm sorry, it's high pass because uh, when high frequency components go in here, these capacity acts as short, and then the high pass move on here to the output. And this is a, a, a passive high pass filter design here. And you notice how I use. Uh, this uh, combination of uh, capacitor in this uh, polarity, because uh, if you use uh, the capacitor in just one one of the capacitor only, you have a leakage leakage uh, current. So that's not very good. And this uh, in, in one way, this is one way to reduce that leakage, basically balance out the leakage current. All right, now let's move on to the shooting part of the uh, the the, uh, the cable for the leads. So you want to shoot it in a way that you have the common mode signal uh, being connected to the shield, so that your your signal line, your ECT signal line, when looking out to the world, it will see it uh, itself. So the common mode uh, there will be no uh, Passive coupling here, minimal capacitive coupling between uh, the wire and uh, the rest of the circuit. So in a way, it's uh, good to have a shield common mode driver that creates that common mode signal, and then this will be done by using uh, the uh, input right here, the input uh, differential input, and you go into uh, this uh, buffer, uh, two buffers, and then you have this. Uh, uh, voltage divider here. So you have the same voltage here, voltage here, and then you divide in two, that gives you the CUNMO, and this is another buffer to uh, prevent loading. And now generate your CUNMO signal, and now will be you're, you're driving your shield. And we can talk more about that later on. But anyway, this is the general layout of the uh, initial stage, if you will. The next part we need to look at is the uh, isolation part. So here for the uh, next stage after the uh, passive high pass filter to remove the uh, the DC component. So after this, you have your uh, your input into another uh, amplifier. This this case is an isolate uh, uh, isolation barrier. It serves this amplifier serves as an isolation barrier. So that the rest of this uh, is isolated from the circuit on the left for safety reasons, and this is uh, this model. This is an optical uh, isolation amplifier. You use optical means to isolate the uh, the signal. 
and the gain is just using two gain resistors and after that uh, now that I have a uh, after this gain stage I'll pass into my uh, inverting amplifier basically it's just to amplify it one more time so now it's like a, a gain of a, well this is a gain a adjustable gain from going from 10 up to uh, let's see, 200 so that's is 20 anywhere from 10 to 20 a uh, negative gain of uh, 10 to 20 and this is a, a digital potentiometer you can adjust the gain anywhere you want next I'll pass to another uh, n uh, inverting amplifier so that in, w in one way and actually this serves two purposes the first one is to change the sign back the second way is that I want to uh, calibrate the offset of my amplifier system the overall system but uh, when I yeah so this is uh, one way to do it. Let's see if I miss anything here. Again, this is uh, using a digital potentiometer. And if, if you're not familiar with uh, this this circuit type, when this is this is a non-inverting uh, setup, but however, it has this capacitor which make it a an active low pass filter. Active by active I mean there's a gain greater than one. And this is a filter, a low pass filter. So you're typically you, you want to have your uh, your low pass filter at the end of your circuit so that your noise will be cut off by this uh, uh this filter uh filter design. So using uh the, the formula f it goes to one over over two pi uh, c times r, and this gives you uh, the frequency of a cutoff frequency of 250 hertz. So that is my highest frequency I, I'm allowing, and this is approximately uh, close to that. It's actually 152 or something, but it's close enough. After this stage, I want to convert my analog signal into a digital signal, and I'm using a uh, uh, ADC that can that take in negative, both negative and positive uh, signal, and it, it convert to a five volts and zero volts uh, uh, digital serial data, and then I'll feed to my Arduino, and then it, this Arduino will process it and whatnot, and then send a signal to my other side, actually uh, to the calibration side, which I haven't. Uh, open yet. So when my my Arduino, the Arduino over here detects uh, the signal level and whatnot and trying to adjust it and then they'll, they'll send out a signal here oh hey uh, uh, say hey to this Arduino, the, the, the first Arduino actually and this Arduino will send out a calibration signal. It will generate a signal here uh, start off with uh, using 5 volts and then you use a pole with modulation and you can change it any voltage you want. But uh, if you use a low frequency then you have to use a voltage divider and then you have to uh, de-amplify the signal. And then I have my relay here to basically connect the calibration signal into my amplifier. Uh, okay, And that will send a, that's a, that's a feedback mechanism if you will. And then my signal will be seen over here and then my Arduino will process that signal and adjust the gain and, and the offset here. And then once it's done, then I will send the serial data to USB uh, using a USB converter to my laptop and I'll plot it using Visual Studio or something like that. Yeah. So that's the game plan. And I think this is very doable. Uh, it's not too expensive, I don't think. I think the project should be uh, around less than $100, I, I, I think. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I think that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.